where is the universe desiring its ultimate desire? <laughs> the, I mean it. Pardon me? In what locus? Yes. Or, or maybe put it this way. Where could the universe be desiring its ultimate desire? Within any particular. Yes, this is where the whole, within any particular, is where the universe desires its ultimate desire. I want to talk about the bond the Earth has with the Sun. That's the bond I would like to talk about. But even before we begin, we're already trapped into a certain avenue that leads nowhere. So I just want to, I want to make it conscious, right off the bat. I have to make it conscious. And that is the, um, like I say, the, the way in which our unconscious mind structures our thinking. The, um, when we think of the Earth being bonded with the Sun, um, it's basically, it's this physical uh, bond. It's this physical bond. And if I say that the Earth is in love with the Sun, it's like, oh, oh no. <laughs> no. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't work. We can't proceed that way. This, this would be the mythological understanding of this bond. Uh, we just, it's lost to us, or it's different, or whatever. Uh, but staying with the staying with a scientific, I'm interested in the bond that I can work with, that I can enter. You know, what we need we need an original relationship with the universe. How, how to proceed then with thinking about the Earth being related to the Sun? Here's how I say it. So, what happened when the Earth entered its gravitational bond with the Sun? What actually happened? What's the nature of that relationship? We regard uh, the material world as something beneath us, right? Beneath us. We don't treat it with the care we would a human person. And likewise, anything that's related to the world beneath us, um, dark races, women, this is something that's deeply Im embedded into um, thousands of years of our civilization. So in dealing with this question, you see, I'm trying to keep in mind why it's so important we get at this. When the Earth entered into this relationship, it was a recognition by the Earth of what was promised. I am saying that the Earth recognizes the Sun and what it holds out. Can I actually say that the Earth consciously contemplates the deeper nature of this bond with the sun. Can I say that the earth consciously recognizes that there's more going on than some physical bond? Is it possible I can say that? Can I say that the earth in full consciousness penetrates into subtle regions of that bond? The answer is yes. Absolutely, because we are doing it right now. We are the Earth. And we're pondering the nature of this bond. It's such a shock when I realize that. The Earth in the form of the human ponders its primordial relationship with the Sun. That's what's taking place right now. Because everything about me comes from the Earth. I don't mean Earth now as some simplistic, literal, physical thing that's beneath me. When I say Earth, I mean a magical reality about which I know almost nothing. But even that little fragment is enough to fry my mind with its nature. It is a, it is a, it's a, it's a physical, metaphysical, transcendent, um, literal. It's all of these. The Earth is all of these. And coming out of that, here I am, right? Pick on myself. Here I am. I'm the Earth, fascinated by this bond with the Sun. Now, do I say that the Earth consciously was aware of what the Sun promised from the beginning? No. No. Not at all. 
But you see, this is exactly the way humans proceed too. We capture ourselves, we see ourselves captured with a fascination. And suddenly we realize we're involved with something and it takes a long time to figure out what's taking place. You can spend a lifetime pondering certain fascinations and never fully appreciate what's happened. I'm saying this is what the Earth is doing. Now, Earth is pondering what actually took place. Everything that took place on the planet Earth, everything, depended upon the prior bond with the sun. There's no poetry, there's no scripture, there's no supreme human noble act that isn't a later development of the bond with the sun. So, just the, the stark fact of the matter would insist that we pay attention to the nature of that bond. And ask, as was asked, what really is the nature of that bond? The Earth, fascinated by the sun, develops life in response to this fascination. Life itself is the ecstasy of the bond between the sun and the Earth. It's the, it's the way in which the, uh, the profound feelings present in the universe are given expression. When the Earth ponders the bond <coughs> it has with the Sun, or in general, when the Earth ponders the bond it has in the universe, uh, it feels a, a deep longing that surges into awareness. I feel it. And when it longs, it longs, it's this ancient wave, all right? And it laps on the shore of my consciousness, which is absolutely dry, and then it recedes. But that's my feeling. It is a, my intuition then, the, the, <clears throat> the story of the universe, the earth, uh, comes out of this bond with the sun, and uh, my way of saying it is that, it, that all that comes forth in the universe comes out of a preternatural uh, longing. And by calling it the gravitational attraction uh, doesn't alter the nature of that bond. It's only because of this deep bond that everything else comes forth in the universe. It's only because of the deep bondedness the universe as a whole, that everything else comes forth. So this is the way the universe is acting now. You see, where is the universe acting as a whole? Well, one of the ways it's acting is in this deep longing. Who's longing? Anyone's longing. Anyone's fascination. 